we're going to find the vertex and the axis of symmetry. Now these are not given to us in proper uh, vertex form, so because they're not, we have another way that we can solve these. The formula that for getting the x-coordinate of the vertex is this. It's negative b over 2a. The a would be the number in front of the squared variable, b is in front of the regular just x term, and then your c is the number on the end. We don't use c in this case, but that's what it would be labeled as. So if we know that information, we can put it into this formula, and that's automatically going to tell us the x-coordinate for our vertex. So to do that, you have negative b over 2a, that's negative 6, over 2 times a, or in this case it's going to be 2 times 3. And if we work that out, we get negative 6 over 6, gives us negative 1 for the x-coordinate. Now a vertex is going to be an x and a y, so I have to also find the y-coordinate. To find the y-coordinate, what you do is you just put it back into the original one. So I'm going to put negative 1 in place of the x. So I put negative 1 in here, and then I'm going to simplify that. This gives me uh, 3 minus 6 is negative 3 plus 1 gives negative 2. So if I want to write that as a coordinate for the vertex, I get negative 1 and negative 2. That's my vertex. Next, it asks for the axis of symmetry. Okay, so the, uh, the axis of symmetry would be x equals, and it's going to go through the x coordinate of your vertex. So that would be negative 1. So here's the first part of the answer. It's negative 1, negative 2 is your vertex. x equals negative 1. That would be the equation rule line uh, where it has a fold line there. So again, it's, you have to make sure you put x equals in there in order for it to be correct. It's got to be an equation of a line. It always goes through the x coordinate uh, of your vertex right there. Now next, this one down below, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We want to do x equals negative b over 2a. So we're going to do negative times negative 5 all over 2 times negative 2. Now if you simplify that, you get positive 5 on top and you get negative 4 on the bottom, which means that your x coordinate is going to be negative 5 fourths. Now we want to find the y value. You're going to put negative 5 fourths into the uh, the equation right here in place of x. You put it in there to, to get the y value. Don't forget to square that one. Minus 5 times negative 5 over 4 plus 1. So now we have some fractions that we have to work out here. So to do that we're going to write this as negative 2 over 1. We square the top and bottom on that. That's 25 over 16. And you get plus 25 over 4 because this can be written as 5 over 1. And you get plus 1. This, that can be reduced to negative, uh, that 2 is going to go away, so you're going to get negative 25 over 8. Now the rest of these, you have to get common denominators for, so 25 for, so I'm going to multiply that by 2 over 2, and then the 1, I'm going to write that as 8 over 8, so then that way all of these have the same denominator. If you simplify that, then that's going to end up giving us 50 minus 25, that's going to be 25, plus 8 is 33. So we get 33 eighths as our y coordinate. So if you want to write it out as a, um, as a coordinate, you get negative 5 fourths and then 33 eighths. So if you want the, uh, the ax, as there, x is a symmetry, okay, to get that you're going to do x equals, and it's going to equal the x coordinate of your vertex. So it's going to be x equals negative 5 fourths. That's your axis of symmetry. And then here's the point. We have negative 5 fourths and 33 eighths. That would be the vertex for part B.